Hey guys, it's the Meek for LIFM back with another Commander video. This time, playing. Uh, honestly, this deck isn't one of my favorites. It's definitely a lot of fun, but it's not super strong. It's my Enchantress deck. It's a Bant deck. Um, a lot of people like it, but like I say, it's not. It's one of my more nice guy decks. It's not an anything goes deck. So this hand is pretty good. We are going to wish our opponent good luck. And what are we going to do here? See, normally, this is, this is one of my problems with this deck. Any other of the decks I play, I have Tundra, Enlightened Tutor. Turn one, I'm fetching Soul Ring. This is a type of deck that makes me not want to do that because it runs tons of enchantments. And I really don't think I need turn one soul ring with a hand like this. So I'm going to go turn one wooded foothills, fetch a forest, play Utopia Sprawl. And Tropical Island is fine. I'm going to slam white and pass the turn. Definitely one of my fair decks. Not saying it's not strong, it's just definitely one of my fair decks. Okay. Top deck humility. Mm. He's playing black, so he probably has sack effects. You know what? I still definitely want to muddle. It's weak against black. Give him that, but I still want to grab Argovian Enchantress. Pretty sure. Or black's generally weak. Black-red is just weak against enchantments, so maybe this isn't a fair matchup to begin with, but it's either Argothian or Luminarch Ascension. What do you think? Ask my buddy here. Ascension, he's saying Ascension. You know what, I'm gonna veto that. We'll see if we'll see if it's wrong. I'm gonna grab our Godian. I just love drawing cards, what can I say? I think soon enough though my friend's gonna be saying I told you so, but we'll see. Sign in blood. Hope we talk that top deck of land here. Combo piece, not great. So we want to leave white open to enlightened for because now we need mana. So now we do have to enlighten for something like soul ring. Pass the turn. Let's hope he doesn't have a sac effect or infest something like that. Well, he, he's color screwed. No red mana at the moment. That, that's one of the reasons why I didn't fetch. Just I, whenever I see red, I think of direct damage. So that's why I didn't get Luminarch Ascension. But I'm just stubborn. I love drawing cards. So relic, good card. Not the card that I want to see against a Nami. It does put in some work against this deck because I do run Replenish. Return all enchantments from graveyard to play. And I also run. I also run. Uh, what's it called? Double green and one, two one. Come on, we all know. Two one regrow. For some reason, I can't remember the name. What's it called? Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness. That's the card. I don't know why I can remember that. Enlightened Tutor. We have three mana. Let's see, it's been a while since I played this deck. If we get Soul Ring, that will leave us with three mana. Enough to play an enchantment. Soul Ring is probably the play.
Yeah, let's just grab soaring. So good. And what do we want to get down? Sterling Grove. Yeah. So let's pay. Add the green. Actually, let's just let's just add the green white. Let's see, what we draw. Yes, yes. Okay. No edict effect. So we drew. We're just gonna we drew the sun time. We're just gonna slam this and pass. Yeah, that's true. We're not playing white. I don't know what black has. Should have attacked for zero. There's no wing shards in black, so. Pro white. We're fine with that. This deck doesn't care about creatures too much. Uh, so we don't care about it. Just give it a muddle. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Five mana next turn. We do not have triple. What enchantment do we want? I think we're just going to leave Grove in play at this point. We don't have anything to set up our combo, so let's just... We have a lot of time. Sarah Sanctum is a good top deck. Play that. We're going to draw. Playing Aura. Draw a detention sphere, it's pretty good. I think we'll just get down some pressure at this point. Like Femurf Enchantment Enchantress, sorry, would uh be the play normally against anything that ran green or white. Some ways of or even blue, but uh not so much blue, but green or white, you definitely play the Femurf Enchantress, but against black, red I don't have too many ways of destroying enchantments. They have uh, all his dust, Nivinril's disc, and three drop artifact that you pay five and blow up all. What does it blow up? All non land permanents. That one as well. What's that one called, Harold? Oblivion. Oblivion Stone. Yes, Oblivion Stone. Sorry. So we want to go red. Now I'm thinking we have two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Mm, we can wait and have the same effect, so let's just pass. So he's going to draw with his relic. He's realizing the pressure. Now that we have pressure up, like he, he can't afford to keep that. He has to draw the card. Okay, he bolts our general, that's fine. Send her to the zone. He's gonna play four drop. It's a good four drop. Yeah, another, uh, my buddy suggesting that I, I could have possibly, uh, sent my commander to the yard and then sun, sun tightened and returned to play. That would have worked. So he's tanking here. He's saying, how can I deal with enchantments? He probably wants to get a sac effect or damnation, something to get rid of the, uh, of the enchantress. She's just she she can be become a problem pretty quick if she's not put in check. So 
he's going to swing. We're going to take it, obviously. So we're not going to play our uh, commander next turn because I'm assuming he got some kind of wrath effect to deal with our uh, enchantress, and he doesn't know that we have Sun Titan to get back our Argothian enchantress either. So, so we are going to play. Scalding time. And I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to, unfortunately. The detention sphere. Oh, pro white. We can't do that, so let's cancel that. I don't want to play humility at this point either. So I guess I'm going to play my commander after all. So yeah, we'll drop our commander. It's, it's pretty much a guarantee that he has some kind of wrath. So I'm assuming his turn is going to be swing for two. Damnation. Hideous end. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna bin it. Just think, I'm I'm a coward. I don't want it. I don't want to somehow lose my commander because the only way of recurring it is Sun Titan. If something happens, then can't get back my commander. This deck runs very few creatures, so played a GOP. So he's playing s fairly aggressive deck. It's fine. We do all right against creatures. So okay, we're taking two again. We are going to shuffle here. Just thin out some lands. Grab breeding pool. Roll carry tower. Okay, at this point, we just want to draw cards even though this isn't the best target for detention sphere. We're going to take her to GOP. Land, not great. Play our commander again. Pass. I could have used that man as Sterling Go for something, but I don't want to. Never know. Like this gives us options. We want to save it for our upkeep, especially when there's so little chance of him destroying it, considering he's playing black red. Like blow it right now or land all his dust. That's about it. Nivinril's disc, the one drop artifact that untaps artifacts for one. <laughs> That that would blow us out too, I guess. Um, destroy target land. We get dealt two. That sucks. 
nothing we can do about that. Let's see how many champions do we have. One, two, three, four. Pro white, we can't do anything about that. Blows up our general, okay, right? No. Oh, exile up to two cards, okay, so that prevents us from getting our uh, Sarah Sanctum back with Sun Titan. That's decent. Okay, we just want to see what we draw. Luminarch, okay, let's play. So we want to hold off on Sun Titan, I think, because I think we're going to. This is true. Okay, so how much mana do we have? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can, yeah, yeah, that's that's the play. Savannah, we are going to fetch. <coughs> what do we want here? Karmic justice is generally good, but not special mass just to ramp real fast. Yeah, let's just go for a lock. Let's play a safe game. Grab Karmic Justice. We're gonna... Play our Titan, getting back Sterling Grove. We could get the land and play Luminarch. Yeah, that seems better at this point. And we get to draw a card as well. Hmm? Oh, you're chest, no okay, top deck of the land. Titan may die. Maybe that was wrong. Not getting back. Oh yeah. Well, that was total misplay. Fetch for no reason. Hopefully he survives. He may. What does he get back from this? Nothing. Hmm. That's not too bad then. But yeah, that was a huge misplay, guys. So I take eight. That's fine. Yeah, that was a pretty big misplay. Even getting, even fetching Karmic Justice doesn't really do much, but this deck is, uh, it's weird. I'm not great at playing it. So, so far we've dealt them three with our Enchantress. I mean with our, uh, General. So let's see, what do we top deck? Karmic Justice, that's odd. <laughs> Moto tends to do weird stuff like this. Alright, <laughs> um, am I missing anything? Can we do... when you cast, so... Let's play Karmic Justice and draw a card. First off. Copy Enchantment. It's very good. Let's copy Karmic Justice and draw a card. Now if he wants to blow up anything of ours, we blow up two of his things. It's not very good for him. And we drew the combo, but he keeps stripping our uh, graveyard. So this is one of the combos I run. You have to have threshold. You play enchanted evening. All permanents are enchantments in addition to the other types. 
I play Cleansing Meditation with Threshold. It blows up both of our boards, but since I have Threshold, I get all my enchantments back, which is essentially my entire board. Well, not essentially, it is my entire board. So that's not an option right now, but that is one of the combos I run in this deck. So, um, all that we want to do. So he's taking three. If we double pump this, he'll take five, eight. Don't think that speeds up his clock, so let's just not do that. Let's put him at six. Yeah, and let's not pump. Pump end of turn. Bluff a counter spell or something. No, the only counter spell I run here is Muddle. Just to fetch our Golden Enchantress, as you saw at the start. Like I said, one of my fair decks. Something big's coming. Not afraid of our counter that we're bluffing. It's Commander, perhaps. That's right, that's good against us at 17. What does it do? It deals damage equal to converted mana cost to creature or player. Okay. At least it doesn't fly. So let's pump our gen. things get really dicey with Karavek, we ha do have hum humility, but uh, I don't think we're going to cast it yet because we're still trying to win with our commander. He's taken six from it so far. Ground seal. We'll play it and draw. Oh, it's whenever I cast the spell. Okay, I thought it was whenever he does. Okay, we'll take two fine with me. See, replenish. His graveyard hate is hurting us. Not hurting us, but... So what do we do here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana open, so we can pump our Jannar four. He's taking six. Fourteen. Yeah, let's just go for the win. I th think that's correct. No, I can't win this turn. I can win next turn. Where are you seeing aura shards? I don't have aura shards. Or of silence. Hmm, that's also an option. Yeah, it's probably safer than what I was thinking. I think it's still a two-turn win, but yeah. No, but we take we take five from that. I'm just going to do it. One card in yeah, he has one card in hand. I think this is safe. I'm going to go Wild Growth. Actually, let's tap Savannah. I'm going to play Wild Growth. We take one. We draw a card. Just see see what our options are here. Land, that's fine. Land. Swing. He can't even swing at us, because if he swings at us, I can block and my stuff dies, and then I blow up two of his things. I can block with my enchantress. Um Claire Blockers is fully pumped this. Fully pumper. So, pass. How much commander damage has he taken? 13. So he's dead next turn unless he can deal with my commander, which, playing black, it's very possible that he may find a way to do so. Okay, 
Okay, so he's paying three to draw one. Now he has a four drop or a five drop? Assuming that's game with the cell sword that doesn't do much. Sorry, how much commanders? Thirteen. So I just need a pumper once. I don't think there's much for one black that could destroy. He could have that uh, the pact, the black pact, or. Feast card, it's Feast of something, Sphere of Safety, that stops him from attacking me pretty much altogether, but at this point, let's just swing, see what happens. Even if, the problem is, even if he destroys Jannar at this point, I get to destroy two of his permanents, so that really sucks for him. And I skip the pump phase, so we'll go to another turn. Don't want to take five. Let's take five. Let's let's get really cocky here. Since I messed up, the game should have been over now. But let's just do dumb stuff like take five when I'm at fourteen and let him go mana crypt, uncounterable X damage spell, something like that. We're fine with that. Don't mind losing to that at this point. <laughs> Kicker. He's trying to bait us or something. He's got a four drop. Oh, he did play kicker. Whoops. It's alright. Now we get to blow up two of his things. So let's blow up that and I guess it's three three. Whatever. I don't know. Yes, we would. And yes, we would. Karmic Justice is just strong. Two Karmic Justices. Quite strong. What's he got here? Four mana. Yeah, that's game. Even if I don't pump this turn, I have it. So I can afford to miss quick. He's saying GG, so. Did our... Uh, Luminar Ascension is a spell I'm trying out in this deck. I just added in an over what I cut. I can't remember what I cut for it. Yeah, I could tell you if you only have commons in the deck. Uh, okay. our opponent, my opponent's saying he only drew commons, so his deck is probably stronger than it was. No, he said he only basically has commons in his deck. Oh, he's saying okay, he's playing a popper deck, so yeah. not yeah. not the best victory for us, but. I'll take it. I like winning, so. There we go. Good game. Like I said, one of my more fun decks. There's one other video up here of it. I'm not great at playing it, actually. I haven't played it in, like, a couple months here, so. Definitely made a bunch of players. So, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys.